deaths there. Expectedly, Jake Paul wasn't a culprit that'll go scot-free. He's been apprehended by Iron Mike Tyson and handed some devastating verbal punches to the face. Tyson was even accompanied by others who found Jake Paul insensitive and dumb. Mike Tyson has reacted in the craziest way, forcing Jake Paul to swallow the words he said about Tyson's dead daughter. Let's get right in. More volcanoes have erupted in the buildup to the matchup on July 20th between YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul and boxing legend Mike Tyson. Sadly, it's not looking to get any better, with both fighters seemingly taking turns in wreaking more devastating havocs on each other. Like you have, you know, some sort of emotional wall that just like blocks you. I don't know. You just always are in, like have this pent up aggression. Like you're just like uh, the only way I can describe it is you're like a little angry elf. Ever since it was announced, no bout has witnessed more controversies, contributions, predictions, and opinions from fans and professionals than the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. The announcement of the fight was more than enough to arouse innumerable opinions and sentiments. While it has come as a shocking and unreasonable matchup to many, some have found it very exciting. And really, it's all about Tyson. They are either excited by the abilities of Tyson and the possibilities of him replicating such speed and power at an older age. Or they are fearful for Tyson's age, deeming it wrong in every sense for Tyson to fight in a professional matchup against an opponent 30 years younger than himself. These ones aren't moved by Tyson's exploits in his training sessions, but remain rigid about their unwillingness to see him return to the ring in a professional matchup. But aside the opinions and sentiments of these supporters and professionals, both fighters have been doing so much to ensure nothing is bland about their upcoming matchup. Mike Tyson has been releasing several training footages, while Jake Paul has been sending in his funny responses as well. Jake Paul has also been spending his time sending insults in their different sizes to Mike Tyson, who hasn't been hesitant to give harsh remarks as well. The latest of them from Jake Paul was what seemed to have been overboard and beyond limits. Jake Paul's insensitive reference to Mike Tyson's daughter's death has been said to be the last straw that broke the camel's back. Jake Paul's response was aimed at training footage, where Tyson braced him up for the fight, saying, Get ready, baby, fire is in the house. In reply, Jake Paul had promised to end Tyson, and not just that, but to bury him beside his late daughter, Exodus Tyson. Tyson has come mad and crazy at Jake Paul. Like Jake Paul, he's involved family members in his replies, and he's not backing out. Mike Tyson started in the strangest ways. One of the best decisions of my career is to fight you, because I'll definitely kill you. You have king son of a bitch! Tyson then added, I have no regrets fighting a bastard 30 years younger if it'll give me the one chance to avenge my daughter. How dare you bring her into this? You know nothing. If you knew what her death meant to me, you definitely wouldn't have dared it. You have forced my wrath out, and you'll get the fullness of it. Mike Tyson wasn't anywhere close to being done with Paul. Paul had committed the greatest crime, and Tyson was going to make him pay for it. Tyson went on to say, I don't want to do so much talking, but people shouldn't be surprised. You shouldn't expect much from a boy raised by a pedophile. He never saw a good model. He only had a controversial man to model him, and he's turned worse today. A failed man has successfully raised failed kids, but I'd end that lineage on July 20th. I'll kill Jake Paul myself, and it won't be a prank. While Jake had aimed his shots at Mike Tyson and his daughter, Tyson had brought Jake Paul and his parents into public embarrassment. Jake Paul's parents are Greg Paul and Pam Stepnick. Both of his parents are divorced but still are on good terms with each other. The 57-year-old is a celebrity himself. He has made several appearances on his son's YouTube videos, building a fan base for himself. He has a very popular Instagram feed and also has thousands of subscribers on his YouTube channel. Jake Paul's mom, Pam Stepnick, is now living in Ohio married to another man. She too, like her ex-husband, is a celebrity and is popular from the vlogs and podcasts of Logan and Jake Paul. Before hitting fame, she was a nurse. She even has a YouTube channel dedicated to her called The Vlog Mom. She has her own net worth that is between one five million dollars. She once made the headlines alongside Tyron Woodley's mom, while Tyron Woodley and Jake Paul went at each other during their fight. Both women left the brawl between their sons behind them when they met for the first time, spoke cordially to each other, and shared a warm hug. 
They made headlines after many appreciated them for their gestures. However, Mike Tyson had more words for Jake Paul's father. Jake Paul's dad is no different from his kids when it comes to getting involved in controversies. The father made the headlines in 2018 when he was accused of getting involved in inappropriate behavior with underage girls. Greg Paul was accused by digital gangsters who uploaded a video that was claimed to be a sex tape of the celebrity dad. Despite their accusations, there was no proof that it was Gregory who was in that video so that case has been put to rest. Greg has made several appearances on his son's YouTube channels. He was even part of several prank videos and vlogs on Jake Paul's YouTube channel. In the video, Jake Paul's dad can be seen kissing a young girl who is blindfolded. This sure did stir up a lot of controversies. I had an alter ego when it came to fighting. But who's there to check it outside the ring? Excuse me? Who's there to check that? Excuse me? Who's there to... Nobody better say nothing about you. You better turn your fucking head. That's great. Use the bathroom. As a result, Tyson has labeled him a bad example for his kids and referred to his poor lifestyle as the reason behind Jake Paul's rascality. And not only has he been fired back at by the baddest man on the planet, Jake Paul has got tons of shots from fans and other professionals lined up for him as well. Oscar De La Hoya, who has been very vocal on matters regarding this matchup having previously expressed his love for Mike Tyson, has come at Jake Paul for putting up such insensitive statements. I know he pulls some crazy stunts. That's how he lives, but I think this is too far. I understand what happens in build-ups, but it's a fight against a legend and you give him that respect. It's a build-up, but you maintain the respect. The golden boy of boxing said, when asked about Jake Paul's comments, De La Hoya added, It's crazier than you think. Many boxers knew what that moment meant for Tyson and Jake has come to rubbish it. I don't know, but it's just crazy. KSI was more concerned about the example Jake Paul was leaving for the younger generation. He expressed his concerns by saying, Jake is facing Mike Tyson, and he can't just help but misbehave more. Tyson won't be the legend he is if he was busy acting like Jake. He should pay attention to the younger generation. He's too irresponsible to do that. Talking about being a perfect example for kids, Jake Paul misrepresents that in every aspect. As a result, he was kicked out of Disney some years ago. Disney Channel decided it was done with Jake Paul after the company announced that the social media star and sometimes actor would be leaving his role on Disney's Bizarre Vark. Paul's mid-season departure meant that Disney decided it was best to get Paul off the show as quickly as possible. And this followed public complaints from Paul's West Hollywood neighbors about the young star being, quite possibly, the world's worst neighbor, drawing massive crowds of screaming fans and setting a bonfire in his empty swimming pool. In the statement released by Disney, he said, We've mutually agreed that Jake Paul will leave his role on the Disney Channel series Bizarre Vark. On behalf of the production company, the cast and crew, we thank Jake for his good work on the TV series for the past 18 months and extend our best wishes to him. However, Jake made it sound like he had simply outgrown his role on Bizarre Vark due to both his other career commitments and his age. He was quick to tweet in denial on X after being laid for both Disney and myself. After communicating for a couple months while I was daily vlogging on set and I was growing Team 10 and other business stuff I have going on, it was so hard for the both of us to make everything work. Personally, I feel like I've gotten so much older in the past two years and matured as a person and my brand is evolving and becoming more of an adult and I want to play more adult roles in acting and grow in that sense. For me, it wasn't always fun to be playing the kid role all the time saying, here we go. Like, it's funny. But I didn't think two years from now, which is potentially how long I could have stayed with Disney, that that's what I wanted to be doing when I was 22 years old, playing a 16-year-old. Jake Paul made several other denials to prove it was a mutual agreement, but many disbelieved his claims. He said, You know, a lot of the media paint any picture of you that they want. The split between Disney and I, in fact, was mutual. It was like sort of this thing that was coming. But at the time, everyone was like, Oh, you got fired by Disney, you got fired by Disney. So I kind of just ran with it. Because it wasn't really like that, I wasn't able to tell the truth about it. Or people just didn't want to hear the truth. They just wanted to be like, Jake Paul got fired by Disney, he added. But it was sort of this too, you know, a brand and Disney and Jake Paul, kind of two brands growing apart. And so it sort of made sense. And ultimately both parties are happier after that split. Paul even made up a prank to defend his claim that he left Disney by mutual agreement. 
Jake Paul posted a video in 2017 in which he was on the set of the Disney Channel show Bizarre Vark. The video started with Paul stealing kittens and doing the regular stuff viewers are accustomed to watching in his YouTube channel. He continued the blog into his residence, where he was joined by his friends. After a few hours of pointless dabbing and paintballing his friends, the blog was aborted by the police knocking in his front door. The officers barged into the YouTuber's house and reprimanded him for causing disturbance, for which there were several complaints from his neighbors. As Jake Paul and his friends protested by asking whether the officers had an arrest warrant, they manhandled the YouTube star and handcuffed him before taking him to their vehicle. Just when Paul was about to be seated inside the police vehicle, he and his friends started singing their song called It's Everyday Bro. As the police officers chimed in on the chorus, it became clear that it was a prank Jake Paul pulled on his audience. The internet sensation explained that he made the video to send a message to people to question everything they see in the media, including reports of Paul being a nuisance to society or being arrested. He said, That was just kind of a lesson to teach you guys that not everything you see in the media on a day-to-day -day basis is real, and that you can basically fake anything and twist everything the way you want. There's so many YouTubers who post fake stuff. There's so many news outlets who post fake stuff. The other day when I was all over the news for being a bad neighbor and then I'm getting a lawsuit and then I'm getting evicted. None of these things are true, guys. However, regardless of his many attempts at denying he was sacked, the words of KSI have been heavily backed are just as true as they come. And considering this was some five plus years ago, it is more worrisome that Jake Paul has gotten worse than better over the years. Paul might have grown wealthier over the years, but like KSI said, when it was about responsibility, Paul was so poor at that. A fan on X responded to Jake Paul's comments against Mike. You must be an idiot for saying that, Jake. Mike is old enough to be your father. Show some politeness, dude. I hope you get whooped for this in July. One fan, who's been having none of Jake's antics, also added, You're a confused fool from a confused family. Mike's gonna delete you and end your ill-fated career. YouTube is going to reject you after this. Can we all stop watching this guy so he becomes useless? Finally, Jeff Mayweather was asked about the feud and war of words that has been ongoing between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Jeff said, I don't know much about these new generation guys, but I don't find pranks too funny. It's not something you want to do all the time. I won't take such a person seriously. Then, he had this to say about Jake Paul referencing Mike Tyson's Kate daughter. I think they want to heat up the atmosphere, but that's a little too far for me. I think they've gone beyond the mark. Many of these are common in face-offs, but we often have where we draw the line. There's a point where you just won't want to cross, and it's that kind of point. Jeff spoke about pranks, and nothing has made Jake Paul more popular than his pranks, although, like Jeff said, such acts are notorious and no one should be known mainly for that. He's also known to have called out his opponent's coach in a prank. Ahead of his fight against Ben Askren, Jake Paul decided to prank call the UFC star's coach, K9 Bundridge. Pretending to be a journalist for ESPN, Paul and his friend asked a series of legitimate questions to feel for their victim. And before he knew it, they hit him with prank questions while recording it on camera. Earlier, the YouTuber tried the same prank on his former opponent, pranking former NBA star Nate Robinson's coach ahead of their fight. Paul asked Askren's coach, a former IBF junior middleweight champion, whether he had any mouthwash to later wash off the taste of Jake Paul's genitalia from Askren's mouth. While his pranks are entertained and enjoyed by many, others find them disgusting. It would, however, have done him more good if his scathing comments about Mike Tyson's Kate daughter could be revealed as a prank. But if there's one thing he never pranks about, it's the build-up to his fights and his face-offs. His words always come wickedly, and he is never reluctant about spilling them. Perhaps the reason for his desperate use of words could be because he feels an intense face-off would do well to attract more audiences to his matchups. In his pre-fight press conference against Nate Diaz, Jake Paul hurled words at both his opponents and the fans after both fighters almost got physical in their brawl. After their two teams got into a scuffle at the pre-fight press conference, Paul and Diaz nearly came to blows in the final face-off before the fight when Diaz prodded Paul with an elbow as they stood opposite each other.
triggering an exchange of words and some slight hand fighting between the two before security intervened. Shout out to everybody for the love and support, Diaz said after the final face-off. I appreciate everybody coming out. Much love. And no matter how the fight goes, don't forget, this MF can't really fight. Paul's response was equally simple. He first insulted the crowd, which was booing him heavily, then turned his intention to Diaz with one final warning. Boo yourselves, virgins. Boo yourselves, virgins, Paul said. They've been saying Nate's tough. Nate's a dog. Well, guess what, Ariel? Tomorrow I'm dog walking that bitch. I'm putting him back on a leash and I'm sending him back to the cage. I'm F-king him up. I'm F-king him up. Before his fight against Tommy Fury, he was also seen to have used some dangerous words on not only his opponent, but on his opponent's family members, John Fury and Tyson Fury as well. It all started when Fury promised to put Paul to sleep inside four rounds and said that the YouTuber turned pro boxer has made easy money fighting old men and celebrities. I think we will make a deal then since you're so confident. Paul, who's six, zero in his professional career, said, if you win, I'll pay you double what I'm paying you already. But if I win, I take everything that I'm paying you, deal or no deal. When Paul stood up to shake hands, Fury appeared agitated and told his opponent to sit back down. Paul, who refused to return to his chair, pressed Fury to answer the question, and some in attendance at the press conference followed suit. Tempers flared between Jake Paul and Tommy Fury ahead of the pair's highly anticipated fight in Tampa Bay. With Paul dialed in through Zoom and relaxing at a swimming pool in Puerto Rico, the exchange quickly went off the rails. Fury was joined by world heavyweight champion and brother Tyson Fury, in addition to his father John Fury. The pair have teased one another relentlessly ever since their unlikely rivalry ignited in the spring. But will let their fists finally do the talking next month? Nevertheless, it was John Fury, the father of both Tyson and Tommy, who engaged in a furious virtual bust-up with Paul Ahn, who participated on a video call from the United States. The pair traded several insults, with the YouTuber claiming that Fury a senior is living off his son's achievements, calling him a nobody, and tell him to suck my D. Tommy Fury hit back with taunts that he'd beat the shit out of him if he ever went to America and that he doesn't have a D to suck. Both men appeared confident from the outset, with Fury maintaining he will break Paul's face completely, while the YouTube star is adamant this will be an easier fight than Tyrone Woodley, which saw Paul emerge victorious via decision against the former UFC champion. Fighting wins fights, insisted Tommy Fury. I'm not engaging in this. I'm not on Instagram as I don't care. When he jumps through the ropes and realizes I'm not a YouTuber and gets a jab landed on that chin, he'll be saying, pull me out. This is easy money for me. I'm going to rob the bank, thank you very much. I can't miss that jaw. I'll bust you up. I'll break your face completely. I hope you're ready. You're in an absolute state and we'll get a reality check. While Paul also exchanged insults with Fury's father, calling him a cringe old man after a series of vulgar insults were directed at his girlfriend. The world heavyweight champion also chipped in, backing his younger brother to knock Paul into next week. But rather than react negatively to the WBC champion, Paul thanked him for helping to hype the fight, even suggesting he should be getting paid Tommy's purse. He's promoting the fight more than Tommy. Jake Paul has been known to go after his opponent's family severally, and this time, he's got Iron Mike Tyson as his victim. Mike Tyson has hit back at him, but would rather end him completely in the ring on July 20th. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly react by clicking the like button below. Ensure you also subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to stay updated with the latest news, moments, actions, and events in the world of boxing. Until next time, peace out.